hyperthyroidism is a condition where your thyroid is producing excessive thyroid hormone today i am going to talk about natural ways which can help with this hyperthyroidism condition for you hi i am dr anshul gupta i help people reverse their thyroid conditions by making personalized functional medicine plans you can work with me from anywhere in the world by virtual consultations the link is in the description so let's talk about hyperthyroidism and natural ways to treat this condition so as i discussed with you hyperthyroidism is a condition where your thyroid is producing excessive thyroid hormone and there are some natural things that can be helpful for this condition now before we move forward it is very important for you to know is that this video doesn't replace any medical advice so please follow with your doctor whatever medications and other treatment options he gives you make sure you discuss all of these things with him or her all right so let's talk about first of all the diet or the food plan that if you have an hyperthyroidism condition that can be helpful for you so we're going to talk about food that you should be avoiding and then foods that you should be eating so let's talk about first the food that you should be avoiding so the very first foods that you should be avoiding are high iodine foods because iodine can actually make hyperthyroidism worse so the food which are high in iodine are table salt you know iodized salt you need to avoid that seafood especially seaweeds sea kelp you know and uh, other seafoods like oysters and things you need to avoid those so those are high iodine foods the second categories of food that you need to avoid are processed food like if you go to mcdonalds or burger kings or kfcs you know any kind of processed food that you are eating or fried food that you are eating you need to give up those things the third kind of food you need to give up is gluten gluten is very inflammatory to your thyroid and can worsen hyperthyroidism condition so make sure you do give up gluten and that will be very very helpful for your hyperthyroidism condition the next food you need to give up is sugary foods sugar again is very inflammatory to your thyroid condition and worsens the symptoms of hyperthyroidism so very important to give up sugary foods that is added sugar that is honey agave maple syrup all of those things some fruits are okay as they do add value by giving vitamins and minerals the next food you need to avoid is dairy dairy again is very inflammatory to your thyroid and definitely makes the hyperthyroidism symptoms worse so that is another thing that you need to give up so these are all the foods that you need to give up now let's talk about the food that you need to eat that will be helpful for your hyperthyroidism the first category of food you need to include eating is selenium rich foods selenium is an important mineral which is needed by your thyroid for various functionings and it has been shown in research is that selenium can actually improve hyperthyroidism conditions so what are selenium high foods brazil nuts are high in selenium chia seeds are high in selenium pumpkin seeds are high in selenium mushrooms are also high in selenium so these are good high selenium foods that you need to eat on the regular basis that will help your hyperthyroidism the next food you need to eat are zinc containing foods again zinc is an important mineral which improves inflammation improves immunity and that will be very very helpful for hyperthyroidism for anybody so zinc containing foods are again pumpkin seeds avocados mushrooms cocoa powders all of them have good amount of zinc in them and that is something that you can include on the regular basis that will help with your hyperthyroidism condition the next food you need to include is healthy fats now healthy fats are very important because they are anti inflammatory and a major problem with hyperthyroidism patients is inflammation so it's very important to include these healthy fats which are going to help with improving your condition so first of all is fatty fish fish which is high in omega 3s now if you're vegetarians then healthy fats can be uh, gained by avocados by olive oil by various nuts and seeds especially walnuts and almonds then coconut oil those are all healthy fats that you can eat even indian ghee if you prepare it in a proper way then can also provide you the healthy fats 
So all of these are healthy fats. Again, make sure that you are including on the regular basis. The next food to include are vegetables, especially cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables have important compounds like sulforaphanes in them, have high amount of antioxidants, which again support your hyperthyroidism conditions. So cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, like cabbages, like cauliflowers, like kale, like Brussels sprouts, those are all good hyperthyroid foods that you can eat on the regular basis. The next food to include is green leafy vegetables like spinach, like kale, like collard greens, like mustard greens. Those are all great green vegetables that again should be included for hyperthyroidism diet. The next food to include is good quality proteins that again includes nuts and seeds, especially chia seeds, flax seeds. Uh, then you can eat some fish, some chicken if you eat non-vegetarian foods. Uh, if you are again vegetarian, then make sure you're eating non-GMO tofus. That is again also fine. And then you're including your dals, your pulses, your lentils. Those are all good quality protein that you can include. Then there are some fruits which can also be helpful like strawberries, like blueberries, like apples, like papayas, like pomegranates. Those are again good fruits that can again add value to your hyperthyroidism diet. So these are all the things that you need to include or eat. Now let's talk about some supplements that can be helpful for hyperthyroidism. The first supplement which has been used for centuries for hyperthyroidism condition is called bugleweed or bugleweed. This bugleweed is very very helpful and has been used for centuries for hyperthyroidism and it is known that it can help to reduce the amount of excessive thyroid hormone which is going on in your body. The second supplement which can be helpful in this situation is called motherwort or motherwort. This supplement again can be helpful for hyperthyroidism conditions, especially it helps with the palpitations or anxiety issues and again helps with the hormone rebalancing effect on the thyroid hormone. The next supplement is selenium. Selenium again in time and again research has shown that selenium supplementation can be helpful for hyper hyperthyroidism, especially autoimmune hyperthyroid conditions. So again, selenomethionine is a supplement that you would like to take that can be helpful for hyperthyroidism. The next supplement to take if you have hyperthyroidism is magnesium. Magnesium is very, very helpful in reducing antibodies. Magnesium is very helpful for rebalancing hormones. Magnesium is helpful for your gut. It's also helpful for your brain. So again, magnesium is that great supplement, which again is very, very helpful for hyperthyroidism. The next supplement to take is omega-3 fatty acids. The underlying problem in hyperthyroidism is inflammation. And omega-3 fatty acids are very important to reducing inflammation in your body. So if you take this omega-3 supplement, that can be very, very helpful for you. So both EPA and DHA in the quantities of between 1000 to 2000 milligrams is what you want to take. And that will be helpful for your hyperthyroid conditions. So you see, this is the diet and the supplements that can be helpful for your hyperthyroidist condition. Hope you like this video and as I explained to you before also that you can work with me with virtual functional medicine consultations from anywhere in the world. The link is in the description. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.